Hello, this is Brian Shannon from Alpha Trends Blogspot. It's Wednesday, the 28th of uh, February, 2007. And looks like I picked a good day to go skiing because uh, from what I saw, the market traded in a pretty narrow range here today. I've got the NASDAQ on the screen right now. They were up uh, 14 cents. Pretty feeble for uh, considering a 4% 4 4 uh, drop yesterday uh, that was only ma able to manage a, a rally of about a third of a percent or so. Um, but anyways, the uh, the volume slowed down a little bit, but it's still very heavy in there. Looking at a 10-minute time frame, uh, it looked like there was a little early on, just a little bit of a washout, then a rally, and then it just went into a range here. Let's take a look at the one-minute time frame. Um, so we saw that uh, lower low in there, followed by a very nice rally, and that was it for the day, basically. So um, the NASDAQ still needs to do some healing in here. Uh, I don't really like the way this market looks right now i think uh any rallies are probably gonna uh be coming on lighter volume or diminishing volume and then there's probably going to be another shoe that drops in this market is the way it typically works but we are holding above that uh level of prior resistance which it which had been support back uh in late December as well, near that 43 level. So it's an area where we would expect to find a little bit of support, at least temporarily. Now, um, there's no reason really to get aggressive long or short in this market right now. I think that uh, it's a great position to be in, like I said today, is cash. Uh, after having been stopped out of our long positions and shorts uh, two days ago, uh, you should have avoided most of yesterday's sell-off, and today looked like pretty much a non-event. Let's take a look at the S&P 500. The uh, the spiders closed up a dollar 43, so they're showing a little bit of uh, relative strength here, but because that's a gain of 1.03 percent. But clearly, there's been a lot of damage done in a very short period of time, meaning one day, and the market is still uh, lower for the year. The market closed uh, out last year over there, so it's still down on the year and. Um, you know, the people who are feeling confident with their bullish positions, you always got to, uh, you know, I like to say the defense wins the game, and I'm going to continue to say that until I'm done trading because uh, a lot of people are going to make a lot of big money on the upside, but uh, giving it back, uh, to me, it just isn't worth it. So I'd rather just kind of grind it out and uh, take the conservative trades and uh, not be the people who give it back on big days like yesterday down. They don't happen often, but when they do, they sure do hurt. And um, now this market needs to prove itself. It's it's still, in my mind, too early to to say that the uh, that the worst is behind us. You see the ferocity of the sell-off here, the big volume. There's just tons of fear in the market. And then, you know, the market, the volume is completely drying up. I wouldn't be surprised to see at least a test of these lows. Maybe even this week. Today we got two days left to do that. Um, so there's you know there's still a lot of damage in here. All these moving averages are heading lower, or the longer term ones rather. We do have a little bit of indecision here from the short term moving average crossing above the intermediate term. But as long as, especially that five day moving average is declining, it's guilty to proven innocent on this time frame. Let the dust settle before you get aggressive. It's too, sh it's too sold off in my mind to, to look at aggressive new shorts in here, although I think breaking below these lows, 140, 70 or so, could probably be the catalyst that leads to a test, and that's good for day trades. So um, let's just continue to be conservative here. Let the dust settle. Cash is a position, and we'll have to uh, uh, let the market prove itself before we can really consider getting aggressive on either side of the market in here. The mid caps uh, still look like they could head down towards about the 150 and a half level. We have that prior level of resistance uh, in here. And um, look, let's look at a weekly time frame. We can see that that level is further solidified by the highs back in uh, May of last year. We had May and then back here in, in uh, December as well. So maybe a little bit further pullback, another uh, three points or so in there um, before it find support you know that that might hold it and also that's that's also we have the rising 50 day moving average so that adds further significance to that level if we look at the 30 minute time frame let's look at a 10 minute time frame keep it consistent we see the same thing we saw in the uh, nasdaq and the s p that we've got the five day moving average still heading lower we need to see that come down and at least start to flatten out before we can 
consider really getting aggressively long in here. Otherwise, I think you're just playing guessing games. And to me, the market isn't about guessing. It's about finding high probability trades in the direction of the primary trend. And now we've got uh, our, our primary trend is really in uh, in jeopardy right now. I'm, I'm not going to say that we made the top. Maybe we're going to go back there next week or in two weeks. It looks less likely, but no one has a crystal ball so we have to wait for the evidence to present itself to us until we have a clearer picture uh, of what the short-term trend is because the short-term trend leads the long-term trend um, and that's that's where we're gonna uh, find our advantage so maybe this range being broken will lead to a short-term uh, directional movement but if it was up I would say don't get too aggressively long and if it's if it's short you know if it's to the downside I wouldn't get too aggressively short either the market is uh, got to prove itself in here semiconductors lost a couple pennies today so they were the uh, uh, relative uh, underperformers they lost two cents like I said so down 0.06 percent we had that same little initial rally but it came d uh, up to the declining you know blue moving average here I'm not gonna get into which one it is but um, we've got these longer term moving averages the the five days kind of flattening out but about to head lower in here and this longer term uh, is down as well so um, you know we're back right down to this range this whole big gap higher has completely failed so uh, from failed moves come fast moves the people who are looking to get long in here uh, who knows I mean they, realistically the the semiconductors still are in a range so there's, there's really not much to say about it. You, just, you know, it's back to the midpoint of that range. There's really nothing to get excited about when you look at the S, uh, SMHs here, the semiconductors. So um, yeah, I'm going to look at some stocks, and if I come up with something I think looks like a good low-risk, high-probability trade, uh, I might throw together another video, but uh, I might just take another day off and let the dust settle. I think that's probably the best bet.